Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top 5 countries that may be uninhabitable by 2050. Climate change is a major threat to our planet, and it's already having a significant impact on the world's most vulnerable countries. Rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and desertification are just a few of the ways that climate change is making it difficult for people to live in certain parts of the world. In this video, we'll take a look at five countries that are particularly at risk of becoming uninhabitable by 2050. These countries are all facing a number of climate change challenges, and it's possible that they may not be able to adapt to these changes in time. 1. Bangladesh Bangladesh is a low-lying country that is located on the Bay of Bengal. It is one of the most densely populated countries in the world, and it is also one of the most vulnerable to climate change. One of the biggest threats to Bangladesh is rising sea levels. The country's coastline is already disappearing, and it is estimated that up to 20% of the country could be underwater by the end of the century. Bangladesh is also facing more frequent and severe floods. These floods are displacing people, destroying homes, and damaging crops, too. Kiribati Kiribati is a small island nation located in the Pacific Ocean. It is made up of 33 atolls, which are low-lying islands that are surrounded by coral reefs. Kiribati is one of the first countries in the world that is threatened by rising sea levels. The highest point in the country is only 6 meters above sea level, and some of the islands are already being inundated by seawater. The government of Kiribati has already begun to plan for the possibility of having to evacuate the country. They have purchased land in Fiji, where they hope to relocate their citizens. 3. Tuvalu Tuvalu is another small island nation located in the Pacific Ocean. It is made up of nine atolls, which are low-lying islands that are surrounded by coral reefs. Tuvalu is facing the same threats as Kiribati. The highest point in the country is only 5 meters above sea level, and some of the islands are already being inundated by seawater. The government of Tuvalu has also begun to plan for the possibility of having to evacuate the country. They have purchased land in Australia and New Zealand, where they hope to relocate their citizens. 4. Somalia Somalia is a country located in East Africa. It is one of the poorest countries in the world, and it is also one of the most vulnerable to climate change. Somalia is facing a number of climate change challenges, including drought, floods, and desertification. These challenges are making it difficult for people to grow food and raise livestock. The drought in Somalia is the worst in decades, and it has caused a famine. The famine has killed thousands of people, and it has displaced millions more. 5. Yemen Yemen is a country located in the Arabian Peninsula. It is one of the poorest countries in the world, and it is also one of the most vulnerable to climate change. Yemen is facing a number of climate change challenges, including drought, floods, and desertification. These challenges are making it difficult for people to grow food and raise livestock. The civil war in Yemen has made it difficult to address the country's climate change challenges. The war has also made it difficult to deliver humanitarian aid to the millions of people who are suffering from the effects of climate change. Climate change is a major threat to our planet, and it is already having a significant impact on the world's most vulnerable countries. The five countries that we've discussed in this video are just a few examples of the countries that are facing existential threats from climate change, it is important that we take action to address climate change now. We need to reduce our emissions of greenhouse gases, and we need to help developing countries adapt to the impacts of climate change. If we don't take action, climate change could cause mass displacement and even genocide. We need to work together to create a more sustainable future for all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new.